Everyone will have a list of things to see and do and experience during their lifetime. Connecting with nature in natural habitats will be an important one for many of us, especially if it's an animal that we admire. Elephants are the perfect example of this. They're extremely intelligent, highly aware, curious and demonstrate compassion. Spiritually, humankind can learn from them. Asia and Africa are their natural habitats, with Asian elephants having smaller ears and straighter backs than their African cousins, who are larger in overall size with rounded backs. They flap their ears to keep cool in high temperatures. The ears are also used for communication, which they can do over long distances. They're highly sociable and live in family groups, with a female matriarch usually leading them. Males tend to wander from the family group, but return when they're ready for a mate. The babies are the focus and centre of attention and rely on their family for their first three years. They are herbivores and feed three times a day, sometimes travelling many miles for food. They have a siesta for a couple of hours in the afternoons on their feet and sleep lying down at night. They can live up to 70 years, staying close to watering holes in whatever form that may come, sharing the water and allowing other species to also drink. When the water dries up, they move on, migrating in search of what they need to survive and thrive. Elephants have been part of human culture, art, religions and myths for centuries, having a long history with humankind, but not all of it pleasant. Elephants are on the endangered species list due to poaching mainly for the ivory trade. They've been used as entertainment for humans in circuses and zoos, kept in captivity, sometimes in confined spaces with cruel treatment. They've been used for their strength in war times and also for helping humans with heavy tasks and used as working animals and transportation. It's said that they have great memories and never forget. In this case, it can be of no surprise that there have been attacks on humans. It's their way of saying, no, enough is enough. There are legends about elephant graveyards where elephants go when they instinctively know their time on Earth is ending. It's been observed that elephants become emotional and agitated when seeing the remainder of skulls and tusks, and yet demonstrate little interest in remains of other animals. Males seek a mate to reproduce and make a family. The natural instinct is to protect and provide for the family unit. It's been that way for thousands of years, which is why both elephants and the human race have survived. This is a natural instinct. When we veer away from our natural instincts and from our true selves, we start to feel unhappy, depressed and dissatisfied. We're not meant to be alone without family. No man is an island. So, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Elephants already know this, but do we?